such a long day. I've had so many technical difficulties trying to get editing done, but it's done. And I'm so happy. My mum used to always say that if you watch TV for too long, you'd get square eyes. And I feel like I have square eyes today. <laughs> but Liam and I are going to have pizza for dinner. So I'm just going to cook up some chicken so that we can put that on the pizza. And honestly, it's a super easy dinner tonight, which is so good. I do not feel like cooking at all. I was so close to wanting to get takeout but homemade pizza is probably the next best option alrighty so we're gonna make our pizzas I always just buy the pizza bases from Coles I do not make them myself but these taste great so then I just cooked up some chicken with a bunch of spices it's just like salt pepper paprika and mixed spice I'm pretty sure that's it and then we just have a bunch of toppings just random stuff these are some of my favorite things I love having chicken spinach cheese and capsicum that's like my my go-to liam likes to add different stuff so i'm not sure what he'll add i just put some feta out here because i thought that would be good honestly i tried to get some pumpkin because i thought like pumpkin feta spinach that would be so good on a pizza but coles didn't have any pumpkin this morning so i wish you wanted to buy a whole pumpkin and i didn't need that much so i decided to go down a different route this is the final product of the pizzas i feel like they look so ugly <laughs> but they're gonna taste really good Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. It's 7.30, I have somewhere to be at 8.30. It takes 30 minutes to get there, but I'm scared I'm gonna be late because I think there could be traffic. But I thought I'd just leave now and if I get there early, I can just read my book or something like that. I'm also listening to a really good audio book and I have an hour and a half left and I'm like kind of sad about it because it's such a good book. It's Confess by Colleen Hoover. We love Colleen Hoover. <gasps> Hey, look who I'm with. Alu. He's too busy looking out the window. So our friend Grace has an online exam today and her puppy Alu can be a little bit distracting. So George and I are taking him on a little auntie date to get him out of the house, get some energy out. And so she can just like completely focus on her online exam and not be distracted at all. So I think we're going to take him for a walk, get some coffee. <laughs> I didn't even mention George's <laughs> Ouch. But yeah, Mr. Alu is a border collie and he's absolutely stunning. Aren't you? He's like, put the he's window like, down. Mom. Hello. Hi. It's a couple hours later and the sky is so blue now, which is crazy because it was literally raining while we were trying to take Arlo for a walk, like pouring down and now it is the most beautiful day. And as I was driving home, I was like, I just want to go sit in the park and read my book and I also do need to get my steps in. So I think what I've decided is I'm literally just going to go for a walk, just for a little one probably. I don't even need to go for a big one today because I already like went on a little bit of one with Arlo. We just couldn't like go on a long one because it started pouring. And then I brought my picnic rug with me and my books and I think I'm just going to sit in the sun and just like bask for a little bit read my book and just chill because honestly that's just what I'm really in the mood for I might even try and do some like editing on my phone and stuff but I just wanted to sit in the sun I've been craving this for so long and it is the most stunning day so let's go for a walk I need to pick a podcast to listen to <laughs> sitting here for about I actually don't know a couple of hours and I did a walk for like 30 minutes just to finish off my steps for the day I've just been reading this this is the productivity project by Chris Bailey and it's honestly so good um, originally I said to myself I'll read one chapter of this which is like my non-fiction read at the moment and then move on to my fiction read sorry if you can hear the cars just because I felt like reading this honestly Archer's voice is really good so far as well I'm only like a third of the way through it or a little bit more than that but I'm really enjoying it but as soon as I'd finished one chapter of this I just wanted to keep reading this so I've read like a few now and it's so good and I honestly well part of me wants to go home now because it's just getting too cold to sit here any longer but secondly I want to go home and start like impl employing is that the right word employing some of the like lessons and teachings that he's gone through so far and some of it I kind of already knew. I feel like I've read quite a few productivity books now, so I do know some of it, but there's still some new info and I'm really, really liking it. So if you guys enjoy learning about productivity, time management, um, just like being your best self, this is a good one. And I got this one recommended to me by, well, not technically, but like 
I heard about this book from, from the Balance Boss 1.0 course from JC Marie Smith and Chelsea Curtis. That was the like business and health course that I did a couple months ago. I honestly wouldn't really classify it as like a business course, but I would classify it as like almost like a self-improvement kind of course. I know they call it a business course, but I feel like it was more of like clarity, self-improvement, that sort of stuff. I still highly enjoyed it and highly recommend it, but I wouldn't say it was super businessy. But I'm gonna go home now because I'm cold and this lighting is awful, I apologize. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It's almost 1 p.m. and I'm about to head out to the shops. You guys saw that I went to the gym this morning. Apart from that, I've just been sitting in front of my computer, just doing the usual stuff, but I have a few things that I need to grab. I have a few birthdays coming up and a baby shower this weekend, so I need to grab some gifts for those, as well as just some random groceries. I need some new socks. Pretty crazy stuff, but I thought I'd bring you guys along. So, I've got my list. I think I know what I'm getting most people, which is kind of nice knowing where I want to go, but we'll also see how we feel. This is my outfit. I've just got my A brand denim jeans that I've been wearing heaps. They're from Princess Polly. My Puma, I think they're called the Cali sneakers. Could be wrong. And my Country Road t-shirt that I got as a gift for my birthday. I love this shirt. It's just such a great like everyday option. I wanted to look a little bit more put together, but I didn't want to wear makeup. So I've just got mascara and a little bit of eyebrow gel. And my skin sucks. So I'm not feeling the best, but I'm going to pretend that I feel confident and hope for the best. Let's go. coffee with my mom so I need to head off in another like 10 minutes or so we didn't have lunch today because she had a doctor's appointment so we're having like an afternoon coffee instead which will be nice but I'll quickly show you some of the things I got I won't show you everything because like I mentioned some of these things are for birthdays for people in like June across to July so I don't want to show things in case some people might see it I don't know if they'd watch my vlogs but I just don't want to ruin it just in case I also just got some random stuff that I kind of needed so this is a really random one but I just got a lid <laughs> and this is just gonna be used for our fry pans and stuff when we cook so that will be really handy I've been meaning to get that for ages but it's one of those things you always forget about I went to Kiki K and got a bunch of cards that's another birthday gift that I can't show you I don't know if I want to open these but from Maya I got so these beautiful oh, I feel like you won't even be able to see it very well on camera they're like these speckled mugs and they're handmade so they're all unique and I feel like they're very much Sophie's style I hope she likes them. We'll see. I won't show you everything I got for Soph just because it's like mixed in with everyone else's birthday stuff. But it doesn't matter that I showed you that stuff because her birthday is tomorrow. So she'll hopefully get those before the week is over and before this weekly vlog goes up. I also just picked up a couple of little birthday bags. Then for my friend Lauren's baby shower, I just got stuff that was like on her baby registry online. So we have some little teething toys. These really cute bibs. I had to get these. They've got little suns on them. They're so stinking cute. And it's just a plain, oh no, it's got dots on it. A little like mustardy yellow one. She also requested that instead of cards, we bring books. So I got this little book and then I just got her some cot sheets that she had on her registry as well. So those are the things for her little baby. Our friends Brad and Caitlin are having, well, their baby is due next week. So we, I should have gotten them something. How crazy. Anyway, I got myself some more black socks to wear to the gym. And then I also picked us up some more of these double wall glass mugs because one of ours broke. So, and then I was kind of naughty and and I may have bought two books. But I am gonna justify it even though I don't have to. I did go into Dimmicks and two of my favorite authors have released new books. And I looked at them in Dimmix and they were so expensive. And then when I was in Target looking for other stuff, I came across two books that I have on my list and I want really, really bad that are new releases. And they were $16 each, which is such an incredible price for new releases. So I did pick both of them up. I got The Maidens by Alex I never know how to say his last name, but he is the guy that wrote The Silent Patient, which is one of my favorite books from 2021. Well, that I read in 2021, and I'm just so excited about it. 
And also Taylor Jenkins Reid. She wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is probably one of my all time favorite books. And I've also read her book In Another Life. I think that's what it's called. I also have Daisy Jones and the Six on my, um, on my bookcase that I got for my birthday, but I had to get Malibu Rising as well. This is her new book. Heard so many good things. Actually, I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I'm very interested, but I just love her stuff. So I'm very excited about those, but yeah, kind of unnecessary. Um, and then I just got groceries, which is really boring, and I won't show you that. But I'm gonna quickly get ready and head off and go see my mom for coffee. I was supposed to go for a walk, but I definitely just ran out of time. How many steps have I got? I've got 6,000, so I'm not too far off my 10K goal, but still have a few more to go. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I do not know what that noise is. Oh, it's a truck. OOTD. Stunning. Got my Contine jumper on. It's honestly so comfy. It's just like so big. I think I got a men's size large, so I guess that's my own doing, but it is just, it feels like an Udi. I don't own an Udi, so maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's just so big and comfy, I love it. It's actually Soph's birthday today. If you guys watch, I know a lot of you do. Sophie Jane Miller, it's her birthday today. She's 22, happy birthday, Soph. But she's organized a little birthday picnic, which is so fun. That's not till this afternoon, so I still have to get some work done this morning, but that'll be really nice just to celebrate her and hang out with a few of the girls, but I need to wrap her gift, so let's do that. I've got all of my wrapping supplies out here. Let's do it. Yeah, you still stick in here with me. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. I'm broke. You guys saw I also picked up some baby shower gifts yesterday, so I think I may also wrap those just while I have everything out. I've been stuck inside this pocket a day. Empty wilds and stress. Gotta stop smoking this cess. I turn redundant. I'm a con, I'm ignoring myself. Can't stand what dwelling. She said he telling me I'm the center of all my problems. But I can't complain, I ain't a man of my own. I'm 26 and at home. I ain't grown, been wasting my way to progress. But at least I got your love on my back. You said he making me laugh. For that, I gotta thank the Lord above us. Cause you make me smile when my world look great. You make me laugh when my the gym went for a walk and then I came home showered washed my hair all that sort of stuff and I'm ready to head out to Sophie's birthday I was about to say lunch it's not a lunch like picnic afternoon tea kind of thing this is my outfit I had no idea what to wear it's kind of cold like very windy the day is beautiful but it's just like the wind that makes it feel cold so I wasn't sure about how a dress would go in the wind, but I feel like that would have been cuter for a picnic, but never mind. We went with this one instead. Both top and pants are from Princess Polly. I do have a code that you can use if you want to, you don't have to, but pretty sure these are called the Holland jeans. I get a lot of questions about them. They're my like current faves. And then just my Pumas, like always. I'm actually gonna try and head off and get there a little bit early so that I can read. I've been like feeling like reading all day and I just haven't had the chance yet. So yeah, I thought I would just bring my books along and if I get there a bit early, I have like around an hour until it starts. Um, I can just stop at the park and read because it's like a huge park where she's having her, her picnic and it's so beautiful. So I'm sure there would be a really nice spot to sit down and read, but we'll see how much time I have. I'm trying to head off in the next like five minutes. So let's go. Happy Friday, friends. Honestly, it's gonna be a pretty uneventful Friday, I think, for me, but I'm kind of looking forward to it because this is like the least busy day that I've had all week. Um, I'm actually just getting ready for the gym. I'm doing strength day today. I have like strength days and circuit days. So circuit days are a little bit more like cardio, 
I don't want to say hit, but like a little bit more hit focused. Whereas my strength days are very like slow, low reps and things like that. I'm following an online program, by the way, but I'll talk more about that in a future video. Um, I'll show you my outfit. I feel like I re-wear the same gym outfits like all the time because I don't have like a crazy amount of active wear, but also like I don't really care. <laughs> but I just apologize if you feel like you've seen this outfit before because you probably have. Um, I'm just wearing my blue rider wear set. I think it's from the Staples collection. Could be wrong. And then I'm just wearing this White Fox tee. I do have a code for White Fox. It's just Rach for 15% off. I love their loungewear, oversized tees, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I just really prefer wearing a huge tee to the gym. I do take it off if it gets really hot, but that's the fit. Just some black Kmart socks and my Converse. That's it. Liam's gonna come with me today. We don't train together, but it's kind of fun to go at the same time. It's only 9.30, but I feel like I've gotten so much done today. I've pretty much ticked off everything on my to-do list that was like work-related. So just editing emails, invoices, all that sort of stuff. Now the rest of my to-do list is gym, walk, what are my clients, clean the house. Oh, I do need to do one more invoice, but we've done well this morning. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna get up to this afternoon. Hopefully something a little bit fun. Might get DYG for dinner. That sounds pretty good to me. And hopefully a lot of reading, to be honest. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Got a dopamine rush, got a majorly crush when I decided to do a bit of a voiceover because some of these clips just don't make sense without it. But I tried out a few new machines while I was at the gym this day because there was literally no one else there except for me and Liam, which was the best. So I tried out this machine, which was so interesting and so difficult. And also Liam showed me how to use the Smith machine, which I've been wanting to use for ages, but I'm just way too scared to use any sort of bigger weight machines. But it was really nice for him to show me and I feel a lot more confident with it now. We'll see if I can use it by myself. I'm gonna try, but still have a lot of gym nerves, I guess. But I've honestly been really enjoying the gym and I feel like a big reason why I'm really enjoying it is just because there's so much to learn and you guys know I'm a nerd and I love learning new things. And it's just so interesting to me. So yeah, this is really fun and I'm enjoying the gym a lot more than I ever thought I would. Something special about you. p.m. I've honestly just spent the afternoon reading and cleaning which you guys saw. I don't think I've done anything else but the apartment is looking amazing which is great. Everything is all clean. I still have to take my donations to the donation bins. That needs to happen this weekend. We have some exchanges that we need to do but ignore those things. Clean, 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 clean. Liam's clothes he needs to put away and then my office is very dark but clean as well. The plants are missing because they're in the bathtub getting watered, but they'll be back there soon. Pretty sure my plans for tonight are just to continue reading, get some GYG, maybe some donuts, or I might just make some brownies. We'll see how we go. And that is it. But I've been reading quite a bit of Archer's Voice. I think my goal is to finish this by the weekend. I have really enjoyed this so far. Like, it's a very good book. Um, I'm getting to the part where something bad is probably going to happen because that's just how books go, isn't it? Which kind of sucks because I feel like my favorite part of books is right before everything goes wrong because right before everything goes wrong, everything is like super, super happy, usually. At least in like contemporary love story kind of situation. So yeah, I think I have about 150 pages left. So I'm thinking surely I can finish this by the weekend. I just have so many other books I want to read. And yes, I'm enjoying that one, but I want to finish it so that I can move on to my other ones because they also look so good. I'll keep you updated over the weekend, hopefully. Anything else? No, thank you. 
Thank you. I felt like I was yelling. A small burrito ball! Mini! <laughs> oh, it's stayed. I look like a monkey with my ears. <laughs> we both just ordered Oh, I can't get over those. The lighting. <laughs> we both just ordered chicken burrito bowls. I got mine in a meal. Liam did not. And that's it. Ew. Speed demon. No, Come on down, bro. Okay. You already got the girl. You ain't impressing anyone. I'm a hooligan. Yeah, you are. I own these trees. <laughs> Ready, I'll rub this first up. Do you... Stop. You're driving a, <laughs> driving a barina, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta show it off. Da -da 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 -da. Stunning. Except they forgot my freaking guac. This is not the first time this has happened. G-O-I-G? Not impressed. But I did make my own guac because I saw they forgot mine. Um, and I got chips. And my one true love. What do you have to say about that? Drink to that. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Here's my outfit of the day. We literally woke up like half an hour ago and we're just laying in bed and then we're like, do you wanna go get breakfast? So. We're gonna go out for breakfast this morning. A little bit of a sneaky treat. GYG last night, breakfast out this morning. Oh well. It's now nine. Honestly, our breakfast was so good. I don't know if it was just because like I was hungry and it just like hit the spot or if the food was just very good, but everything was just 10 out of 10. I'm doing some online shopping and there's this ring that I've been looking at. So I have a real, I feel, I, I don't know how to know. I think because of the job that I have and because I am so blessed to receive quite a few things, a lot of clothes and things like that, I feel very guilty buying things for myself because I receive so many things. I just have the mentality that because I receive things for free, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be allowed to buy things for myself, so I don't buy a lot of things unless they're really like for work, like unless they're for a video. I usually can justify books because I also film a lot of book content and stuff like that. But if it's just like for fun, I find it really hard and there's this ring that I've been looking at. It's literally $50. It's not like a crazy expensive ring, but it's so cute and I think I'm going to order it for myself. It's from Finer Rings and it's this little signet ring. And it has a little sunrise on it and I've always kind of wanted like a sun tattoo or something like that just because I think suns are so happy but then when I found this ring I was like that's kind of perfect but I just don't know but yeah I've just not let myself do it but I think I'm gonna do it I eventually would love to have my hands like full of rings because I love how that looks and this might sound really stupid but um, my engagement ring and my wedding band are white gold and I kind of like the idea of having them white gold and everything else gold so they look different and they kind of stand out because the actual engagement ring and wedding band are very simple, which is perfect. I love that. But I think it'd be really fun to have like just white gold and then everything else gold. I usually wear my ring from Connor a lot as well on my thumb, but I don't have any other gold rings. So I'm just, ah, I don't know. I think it'll be really nice. So I think I'm gonna do it. I just don't know what size I am. I find that really hard to, to work out. <laughs> And I don't know, like they've got a picture of someone wearing it on their pinky and that looks really cute. I'm just using my wedding band as like a size. I guess I could just like order it and then if it fits a different finger, I'll just put it on a different finger. Hmm, okay. But apart from that, I don't really have a lot of plans for today. Um, actually, no, I do. I do have a lot of plans for today. I don't have a lot of plans for this morning. I've got the baby shower at two and then I'm heading over to my parents' house for dinner and then we're gonna go see Fast and Furious tonight because that's like our family tradition. I literally grew up watching Fast and Furious. It's a family tradition of ours to go to the movies together every time a new one comes out. But this time it's just me. My siblings didn't want to come, so it's just me and my parents tonight, but I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like my family does not have like a lot of traditions, <laughs> so it's kind of funny that Fast and Furious is one of them. I mean, we didn't try to make it a tradition, it just kind of happened, but I, I love it. I've got a busy afternoon in that way, but until then, I'm kind of just chilling. I do want to go for a walk, do some reading, just the usual stuff. I love having days like this where I don't have like a lot planned, so 
I'm gonna order this ring. I just need to work out what size I am. And it probably won't come in until next week, I'm assuming. So I'll show you guys when it comes in in my next weekly vlog. But I'm so excited, it looks so pretty. I just finished getting ready because I've got the baby shower this afternoon. So this is my outfit. I don't really know what you're supposed to wear to a baby shower. I've only been to, I think, like two. I feel like they've both been pretty cash. And I'm assuming this one will be the same. But I'm just wearing a sweater and jeans, both from Princess Polly. Belt's also from Princess Polly. I've got a little, like, linen t-shirt underneath. And then just my Birkenstocks. I have to leave in about an hour. The baby shower is, like, half an hour away. But so is my parents' house, where I'm going later today. So I'm trying to figure out if it's worth driving half an hour to the baby shower, spending an hour or two there, then driving back half an hour, and then driving back again another half an hour to my parents' house a couple hours later, or if I should just, like, take a book and a change of clothes with me and just, like, chill in that little, like, in-between time. I also don't know how long the baby shower's gonna go for, so... I think it might be smarter just to bring things with me, like a change of clothes and a book and stuff, a pair of AirPods, and then just decide after. We'll see how we go. I don't really mind either way, I just, like, don't know what to do. But I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then pretty much head off. Just finished watching Fast and Furious. It was so good. Honestly, yes, very unrealistic at some points. I think they're kind of running out of vehicle options. They had a rocket in this one, giant magnets. They also visited like five different countries, but that's pretty normal, honestly. <laughs> but no, it was so good. There were some old characters that returned. I feel like that's fairly usual in the more recent ones, but it was just really good. Would definitely recommend if you are a Fast and Furious fan. But yeah, I'm gonna drive home now. It's like 9.30 p.m., definitely past my bedtime. And I'm gonna listen to Red by Taylor Swift in honor of her releasing her release date for Taylor's version of Red on November 19th. Still got a while to go, but it's definitely one of my favorite of her albums. I went to the, I have the Red Tour shirt from 2013 that I constantly wear to bed, which you've probably seen me wear. Sunday morning. I did not want to go to the gym. <clears throat> I'm apparently losing my voice as well. But I gotta go. So you gotta hype yourself up. These guys are different light. Why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a place that I would recognize and replay the memory of you. Excited! I did have my pre workout, but I'm still waiting it waiting it? Waiting for it. back from the gym I was so like dead this whole session just kind of like eh. but we got it done this was my outfit very simple I'm just wearing a do you even crop underneath and then stacks shorts and cotton on body um, little tank thing that I always wear this is my second time wearing my stack shorts and I think they're slowly becoming one of my favorites they are so comfy 
And then I just have my Puma. I feel like I'm wearing Balenciaga like sock shoes and I kind of hate it, but they're just super comfy. So I love them. I was actually just watching this TikTok of Hayley Pham asking her husband to put her hair up in a ponytail. And I think it could be kind of funny to ask him to do the same thing. I just want to see what he will do. So let's see if we can do that. Can you put my hair in a ponytail? Mm -hmm. I want to test you. A ponytail, yeah. singular. Yeah. Wait. Sorry about like gross gym hair, but. As long as it doesn't have to be perfect, right? No. A pie, right? <laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever I want? Yeah. Okay, ready? I feel like you have an unfair advantage because you had long hair for a long time. I wonder if most boys know how to use a ponytail, like a hair um, tie. A better one would be um, if they know how to do a bun. Good job. Oh, that was hard to get those bits. Yeah, no, it's just kind of fun. Do you want to try a bun? If you guys don't know, Liam used to have hair pretty much as long as mine is now, probably. Yeah, back before we got engaged. Do like a back bun there with a ratty. No ratties, please. This. No. Oops. You twist. <laughs> you do a twist like this. Yeah. Except it's real bad. But it's just. I do have kind of short hair, so it is kind of hard. And then you like, like, uh, rotate it. And then you just like check this back button. It's hard when you're doing it, as opposed to when you're doing it yourself. You think it's easier on yourself? Yeah. Because I'm used to doing it myself, so yeah. like doing it on someone else is like... That's true. <laughs> I used to do your buns sometimes. That's so dang. <laughs> That's so dang. Nice! <laughs> Update, it's 2.30. I'm pretty much ready for church. This is my outfit. Princess Polly, um, I don't remember what brand. I think they're rollers, my jeans. They are skinny jeans. I don't think they're ugly, so I'm gonna keep wearing them. I'm wearing slippers right now, but I'm just gonna wear like like sandals or slides. And I've got a sweater to take with me in case it gets a bit colder. But yeah, we're leaving in about half an hour and I need to have something to eat. I had like a late breakfast, so I'm having like a bit of a late lunch, which actually works out really well because we are in church right when I would normally eat dinner. So I always get so hungry if I don't have a snack or something to eat like right before we go to small group. Cause we have small group or like Bible study from 3.30 till like 5, 5.30 and then church from 5.30 till like seven-ish. I don't know, I'm telling you that just some context I guess. I also just made some brownies. These are the macro mic ones. I've actually made them once before. This is my second batch. I made one like last week and Liam and I were obsessed with them. We both loved them. It was my first time making them last week, but I literally needed to make them again because they were so good. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but I do have a code with them. So I'll put that on the screen, but they're double chalk protein brownies and the macros on these are pretty good. I've loved everything I've tried from macro mic so far. I'm kind of obsessed but I only just pulled them out of the oven, so I'm just gonna let them cool for a little bit before I cut them up. And I've just been reading the last like half an hour. I'm finishing Archer's voice and I think I have about 50 pages left and I feel like something bad, or actually like 60, 65. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. And that makes me, ugh. I hate that part, but I also really want to finish that book today. So if I don't finish it before we leave, which I don't know if I will, because I have to do a few last things to get ready, I'll probably just finish it night when we get home. But I'm gonna make myself some food. I don't really feel like making anything so I might just have like toast. Editing Rachel here because I didn't end off the vlog again. Sorry guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Goodbye.